have you ever been at a light with an emergency vehicle coming and you just weren't quite sure what to do? St. Charles County is spending hundreds of thousands of dollars for a countywide system to make intersections safer in emergencies. Investigator Elliot Davis takes a look at the new setup in tonight's You Paid For It. Going through intersections is one of the most dangerous times for St. Charles County emergency vehicles. Crews with the St. Charles County Ambulance District are always racing into harm's way to save lives. The most challenging part of an intersection is the safety aspect of it. It's one of the highest accident areas that we see nationwide in, in the safety of emergency vehicles is intersections. That's where you see your most collisions. St. Charles County decided to do something about it. The emergency vehicle priority system under the Gateway Green Light Network will control the traffic signals at intersections when emergency vehicles are rolling through. A device will be put into emergency vehicles like police cars, fire trucks, and ambulances. The St. Charles County Police Chief says once that system is activated, it's going to make a huge difference. No, it'll turn the uh, lights green for the oncoming traffic for the emergency vehicles to proceed through. The uh, cross traffic would turn red, so they have they got to stop at the normal cycle of the light. So it will cycle their light, the cross traffic red, and the oncoming traffic will go green for the emergency vehicles. So far, 351 signals are linked up with 195 to go. The price for all this, $800,000. The lion's share paid by the federal government. The rest coming from a tax measure approved by St. Charles County taxpayers. Here's St. Charles County Executive Steve Elman. And what we have done is basically connect most of the traffic signals in St. Charles County. And that's what's different about this. This is a countywide project. But as far as we know, this is the first time in Missouri that uh, we've had it done on a countywide basis. Emergency vehicles in the Metro West Fire Protection District in St. Louis County already have something similar. Metro West uses it at 43 intersections, including here on Manchester Road, to clear a path for emergency vehicles. Devices are in the vehicles and on the traffic signals. The light cycles to green on the route the emergency vehicle is taking way before it gets there to give motors a chance to get out of the way. Cross traffic is stopped. I talked to Metro West. We've had the Opticom system in our district for over 20 years. Uh, it works tremendously well helping us get through intersections and, and keep traffic moving so that it doesn't cause a delay in our response. He's glad to see St. Charles adopting it. I think it's a great idea. I think that they're going to find that their travel times to emergencies are reduced. I think that the citizens are going to find that it's safer for the emergency equipment to move up and down the roadway. I think all in all, it's a great idea. Those in Cottleville Fire District in St. Charles County anxious to see this deal with your money firsthand. It's going to decrease the amount of time it takes us to get to that emergency scene. In addition to, it's going to make us safer in route. St. Charles County officials say the uh, project is half finished now, but should be fully operational by the end of the year. Of course, I'll keep track of this deal. After all, you paid for it.